All right, so we've got this hammer mill all set up, and today's going to be the first day we shell corn. Uh, if you remember from last year, what we did here is we dug a hole in the ground right here because we don't have any cement in this area, and we ran that 10 inch auger that's coming out of that silo going into the commodity shed. We ran that 10 inch auger over the wall, and then we backed the, the roller mill in after we took the blower off it. Now this is a hammer mill and um, it has uh, little metal pieces of flat stock that spin really fast and it actually pushes the corn through a screen. There's different size screens on here. There's a whole stack of them there. I mean, anything from 3 16 all the way up to 7 16 and it beats that corn uh, through the screen, drops it down to the cross auger runs it up the vertical auger and then that's going to run it over into the bunk here so we're going to go ahead and start shelling corn here now and this is the bunk that we're going to start filling so hopefully everything stays together here uh, i don't know how fast this is supposed to run i heard a ton a minute i'm not sure if that's correct or not but we're going to give it a try that's about how fast that roller mill ran and um, we'll just have to see how she goes here. Okay, so we are just getting fired up here. I have just pulled into the field. Now, we've got the hammer mill all set up. I've got to get a couple of loads done here. And then we're going to get back to the farm here and look to see what kind of a grind um what kind of a process that hammer mill is doing we're going to have to swap out screens i'm thinking i really don't know what the moisture is going to be on this corn here but the drier it is the smaller the screen i'm going to have to put in now i get a lot of questions on why we run a tarp on the combine now um there's various reasons one if it gets raining um, not so much with corn, but uh, we've had a lot of instances where we've had, you know, it'd be combining wheat or whatever, and, um, you know, it gets raining, and, you know, you, you get a tank load of wheat that gets wet, or, you know, you get heavy thunder showers or whatever in uh, late July or early August. So that's kind of why the tarp is on there. A neighbor friend of ours, he put a tarp on his combine oh, probably 15 years ago. We kind of got the idea from um, him, and now he has a, um, he's got a, a hard uh, shell uh, tarp style unit on his John Deere combine. But this is just a regular tarp. It's got a bow in the center there that keeps the tarp up out of the... Um, grain auger there the grain tank auger just got a truck pulling in here now um and being that it's got the tarp on there it also it kind of protects the rest of the combine because let's face it the, the you know once it rains and if the combine's outside and the grain tank is open all that water is going right down uh through the rest of the combine so we've got that cleared up i get a lot of questions on why we use a tarp and quite quite frankly that is why now hopefully we don't get into combining any corn this year when it gets cold but in the event that it does um again if it rains and uh you get a bin load of corn that gets wet and then it gets really cold you'll have a frozen bin load of corn and it keeps the snow out of the combine too but let's just hope we do not get into uh any snow this year it's early enough we should not have to monkey around with that so we are going to go ahead and get started here
checking through here to see what what the combine's doing, see how good of a job it's doing. Looks pretty good. Kind of helps with the drone, you know, you really don't have to get out of the combine. The sample through the window looks really good, so we just put the drone down low enough there just to kind of see what the trash is looking like coming out of the back, and it looks real good. So it looks like we've got our settings all set here pretty good. I've got about a quarter of a bin on. The window is right full here now. And um, I don't know what the moisture is right now. I've got to got to dial in the uh, display I'm using here. So. When I hand sampled this the other day, it was running right around 24%. So usually when you hand sample, you can easily add a few points to that once you get the combine out in it. So this field to our left here, uh, this field is uh, seeded down to alfalfa. So that has just started to come up. It kind of got a little bit of a late start uh, because we didn't get any rain after uh, after we put the seed in the ground here. So once it did rain, boy, that seeding shot up out of the ground in about an hour after it got done raining. So we have gotten almost one time around here. And I'm getting down to the point where I don't have much battery left on the drone. So this is where we're going to leave off with you guys on this segment here. Cancel the uh, return to home. You just asked me if I wanted to do that. And I'm just going to kind of fly on the uh, left side of it here. See if we can't maybe get a couple of shots like that. So we'll join back with you guys here once we get back to the farm with some corn, once we get unloaded. All right, so here's what cleaned out of the combine as we turn the corner here. Got some kernels on the ground. Cobs are broken up a little bit. We got very few kernels here. Uh, we might be a little brisk on the um, cylinder, but on cave, we're not doing too bad though. Boy, if you can see a whole cob, you're doing uh, pretty good. And these cobs really aren't all that hard. So they're going to break up pretty good. We've got some kernels there, but we really don't know what those could be. They might be coming out of the head. So they might be squeaking down through the deck plates. So cobs are looking pretty good so we're we're breaking a few of them but that might actually be from coming down through the the chopper itself a few kernels we got to see if we can clean that up a little bit well we might as well jump on in i've got almost the whole tank there just one time around so this is yielding pretty good i don't know what the exact yield is but we'll know when we get the field done right all right we are unloading the first grain bin of the year first grain bin load of corn and you can hear a little bit of corn hitting the roof of the cab. So we're kind of doing everything all at once here. <laughs> getting a little bit of cab corn here at the same time, but I have only been a long time around this field. 
So, uh, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because the yield is up, but it's a bad thing that I introduced cab corn already. So I've got the one iPad on the left-hand corner post here, and I've got field view on that. The moisture that I'm getting off the combine is 29%. And it actually looks like it's a little wetter than that 24 or 5 because it, it looks a little different coming out of the auger there. So um, we're going to have to check into that a little better just to see what the moisture is doing here. So as it comes over into the corner of this window, it could be the drier stuff anyway. So. We'll have to keep an eye on it, keep checking it, because we're going to have to uh, monitor what screen is in that hammer mill. Well, the tank is almost empty. Uh, we've got some stuff that's come into the window here, but over inside that tank, it's pretty good. We've got some little tiny cob pieces, which is okay, because it's going to be cow feed, so... If you try to get too much of that stuff out, you end up blowing kernels out the back, too. So we're just about empty, and then we'll get back going again here. Alright, this is going to be the first time we're going to be unloading on the go this year. My nephew Fitzy running the grain buggy here. We have Charlotte in here. Guys are moving the stuff to the field and we weren't sure if we were going to run today or not. It rained here this morning, rained this afternoon, and it's about 530 right now. Kind of looking at the ground as we drive by our last pass. The combine seems to be doing pretty good and I have not adjusted any of my settings from when I started. So, um, we're just kind of winging it here, not really adjusting anything, not really needing to adjust anything, keeping it simple. Got just a little six row head here, that's alright, that's alright. We've got about 810 acres to do uh, with this old girl. So, we'll just let this kind of unload right here. This field is, is not bad. I can't turn, turn the camera quite that way. We've got the sun beating on us here. But, um, this field is about eight acres, and um, we're not quite half done here. So we'll get him, uh, we'll get offloaded. It won't quite be full. That grain buggy holds 500 bushel, and we hold about 240 to 260. I can get about 260 on if I round it up enough to have it running down on the cab. But he'll just run this over and dump on the truck. We got one more dump to put on. And then that first truck load will be loaded. Decent sample. We've got uh, just a couple of husks in there is all, but stuff is uh we, we'll deal with that all right so we got the third load going in the bunk
So this is the third load here. Just gonna check the grind on this. I think we could grind that up a little better than that. Try a smaller screen. All right, so we've got the largest screen in here now, and um, what this does is it drops the corn down at it, and then there's these little plates here. They're called hammers and they beat the corn in through these holes and the corn comes out through the holes, drops down into the discharge auger and then that takes it over into the pump. We've got a screen on each side. We're going to put a smaller screen in. I think we can grind this corn up a little finer. So, why don't you grab that camera? I'll pull this. sides of this opened up and uh, got a sort of different size screens here. Just pulled out this one I think is 7 16 and we're gonna put a 3 8 in or we had a 3 8 so we're gonna put 5 16 in. We got both sides open we're just gonna set the other screen up. see if we've improved the grind at all. We should have a little better grind here now and it does look like it's doing a little better job. 